Good morning. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my video. It is November 20, 2022. My name is Bobby and guess what I'm drinking? Well, I am drinking Bulletproof Trader Joe's blend with MCT oil, cinnamon, and stevia. And that's my morning drink. And I wanted to welcome you to this uh, video. It's almost Christmas, of course, November 20. The holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving's next week. And I wanted to share my story. I'm going to be building a channel and I'll probably move this video to the other channel, but I am documenting my story in hopes that somebody could get encouraged and maybe somebody can get some special help or it can help anyone out there who has what I have. Um, but my hopes and my belief is that I won't have it anymore. But right now, I wanted to make this message of hope. Um, I was recently diagnosed with breast cancer on July 24th, 2022, and it is November 10th, 2022. And I do want to let you know um, my personal story. Um, how I found out one morning I wasn't, my back was kind of hurting. And then uh, in a couple of days I woke up and I couldn't get up. I thought maybe it was a fractured vertebrae. I just had no idea what it was. And I thought to myself, well, I got to try to wake up here. And so um, what I did was I was thinking it was going to go away. And then um, I said, oh, no, I have to go to the emergency room. So my friend took me to the emergency room and they said, well, you better look at this and call your primary doctor. So that's what I did. I called my primary doctor and got several appointments. And after a good amount of testing, then I found out, you know, through a breast exam and through a CAT scan and different types of scans and tests. Uh, and I went to an oncologist and of course I got the back brace. Uh, to my knowledge, I did have the diagnosis, which was uh, a big surprise. Didn't have it in the family, never suspected it really in a million years. But I did get it, uh, uh, the diagnosis from uh, oncologist, Dr. Wagner, and it was stage four. In the right breast, in the lymph nodes, and metastasized to the back, and that's how my back got the fracture. So I decided to myself, boy, this is as crazy. I was bedridden for a month couldn't get out of bed. And I thought, well, I'm going to read the Bible and talk to God. I'm also going to watch some films and read some books. So that's what I did. And I kind of contemplated and I had some weights next to my bed. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to just sit here. I'm going to start weightlifting. So I did in the bed with my arms weightlifted and, you know, started taking one of the medicines they gave me. They said I didn't have to get radiation or chemotherapy, but they wanted to give me a type of pill that blocks certain cells from growing and does block the estrogen because it's estrogen uh, positive and HR2 negative, which is a common breast cancer that uh, millions of people have. So that's why I'm making this documentary. Well, anyway, I um, got that diagnosis and I was very surprised. I said, boy, I'm just going to do something about that. Somebody said, you know, believe on the promises of God that he does heal. So I said to myself, you know what? It says it. I'm just going to go with it. So um, I decided to just take that small bit of faith and, and say, okay, I'm going to believe what it says. If I believe the rest, I'm going to believe what it says. It says you will be healed by his stripes. You're already healed through Jesus' stripes. And also it says in John 14, 14, whatever you ask, you'll get it if you believe it. So I said, you know what? There's really something to this. I'm going to just go with it. And I said, okay, maybe I have the faith of the mustard seed, but mustard seed grows into a big tree. So I decided to do that. And so as the time went on, my back slowly got better. I was wearing a back brace and I said, okay, I'm going to start walking. Um, and at that point I was listening to Dr. Berg and I decided to go on keto, um, on steroids. So 
what I did is I eliminated all breads, all sugars, because I found out that sugar does feed cancer. So I said, I'm just gonna eliminate the sugar. I started watching a lot of videos, probably watched 30 videos of Dr. Berg, some cancer stories. And I was contemplating whether I should take the medicine or not, but I said, you know, Lord, if I should take medicine, uh, just help me through it. So I decided to take the medicine. I'm on Ibrance and I'm on an Astrosol and also a bone strengthener. So um, I started following Dr. Berg to the T. I did some fasting, but I do intermittent fasting most of the time. And so I did that and then um, I started feeling a lot better. I dropped quite a bit of weight too. Uh, I feel like 100% better being lighter on my feet. I lost a total of uh, 45, well, over 45 pounds now and I'm able to walk up hills. But I've been doing my walk every single morning. I also do weight bearing exercises to help with osteoporosis because some of the effects of the medications, um, what it is, uh, they cause bone loss. So I thought to myself, I gotta build up the bones. So I looked at videos on how to build up bones and uh, I think it's working because I'm able to do more exercise and my bones don't hurt anymore, which is awesome. Okay, well, anyway, um, I'm on Ibrance, which is every day for three weeks, off one week. I'm on an astrosol, which is every day. It blocks the hormones, I think. It's, it, it makes it so you go into menopause, but I was already almost into menopause anyway. So um, I continue taking those, and uh, my diet is wheatgrass mostly every day, unless I'm doing a water fast, which I've only fasted one to two days, three days max. Um, but I periodically fast, which I need to go on a fast very soon here. Um, I continue to take the medication. I eat raw salads every day with all types of organic, cruciferous vegetables, oils, nuts. I also eat for meat, uh, grass-fed steak, um, salmon, a lot of salmon. I eat, uh, um, you know, uh, tuna fish some, but I'll probably include some rain-free chicken. But uh, that's what I eat right now. And I eat three ounces at a time. And I only eat one meal a day, usually one and a half meal. So I might eat one meal plus maybe a juice, uh, fresh vegetable, mostly green. But I did start adding carrots. So I'm gonna see how that goes. But I did get a test. The first time I got the test, you know, the cancer readings were up, but I got a test. Um, I didn't think I was supposed to get it, but for some reason I got another cancer test. Well, I got a note from my doctor saying there's significant improvement and I saw the graph and the graph went down about one fourth. So all the tumors, the breast tumor, the back tumor and the um, embryo, uh, the embryonic tumor, they all went down between one fourth and one third. I'd say a little over a fourth, which is just awesome. Oh, I was so thankful. I just jumped for joy. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I think, gosh, this is really working. So I pray every morning and thank God for healing. I pray every night and thank God for healing and pray for the little uh, uh, cancer cells to go away in the name of Lord Jesus. And I, uh, I do that every day and I thank him that he already healed me. So it's seeming to work, um, which is awesome. I mean, there's, there's real hope, but I am giving my story because I think it's very important. And uh, I think it's gonna make a difference in someone's life. I mean, whenever I see anybody who has, you know, like a breast cancer or any kind of cancer, I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought I'd have it in a million years, never went to doctors. But honestly, I have a whole new feel for it. And uh, I just want to say, anyone out there, um, I will invite you to my video channel. It will be through Bobby Vizelay, and it will be my story. And uh, probably have some pink on the, um, pink on the uh, uh, graphics and uh, some ribbons. I, I want to help other people that have this and say, hey, there's some hope. But through eating and praying, uh, I think there's some hope because I had extreme, you know, extreme diagnosis. And I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to let God handle it. And that's exactly what's going on. It's really awesome. He's showing me 
what to eat, how to eat it, and I'm going to have some recipes coming up. But anyway, that's my little story. And uh, if anyone's interested and wants to uh, take note, well, there'll be some more information coming up. So hope you're having a great day.